The World Intellectual Property Organization, also known as WIPO, is an agency of the United Nations. Based in Geneva, its 185 member states represent 90% of the world's countries. WIPO was established to deal with issues of intellectual property, in particular work involving creativity and innovation. Intellectual property is the value that is added by the mind to either economic production or cultural production. So it might be a marketing uh, value that's added, organisational knowledge or a brand or a design, uh, or in the case of uh, cultural production it's of course the conception of a book or uh, the composition of music or a performance. Uh, so these values that are uh, added by the mind are what is protected and captured by intellectual property. In 2001, WIPO established the Intergovernmental Committee, also known as the IGC. It is an international policy forum that aims to formulate international norms that will provide stronger protection for Indigenous people and local communities over their traditional knowledge, culture, folklore and genetic resources. I like to think of traditional knowledge and cultural expressions as being part of a whole picture about Indigenous peoples and culture. And it's very hard in our culture to distinguish one aspect of it, for example, our language, our knowledge, our ceremonies, and so on. But traditional knowledge is now becoming very important um, because of the way in which uh, we are fighting for our rights and getting those recognised. Existing intellectual property laws provide some protection of traditional knowledge and culture, but they still leave many aspects of traditional knowledge and cultural expressions in the public domain and free for anyone to use. Many countries and communities believe stronger protection is needed. I think that there's been a lot of um, misappropriation and misuse of knowledge over a long period of time. It's a part of the colonial experience that many Indigenous peoples around the world experience. Um, but more recently, um, there's this evidence of knowledge being used as a commodity, a, as a property, and being used in order to um, derive profit or some, some commercial benefits. The Intergovernmental Committee is discussing the best way to prevent the misuse and misappropriation of traditional knowledge and culture, so it is not copied, adapted or used by a third person without consent. We live in a globalised world. People and products move about the world you know, extraordinarily quickly. So in that globalised environment, <coughs> a very much internationalised environment, there is a danger of a loss of the preservation of, of the distinctiveness of cultural identity. For instance, you might be having uh, certain paintings and everything which are normally used for certain either religious ceremonies or something like that. And then someone um, uses the same to make a mat or a placemat for food or um, you, you come up with the decorations and get headscarves or, you know, a wrapper and you find that that is something that the community would not allow because it's, it's something they considered uh, sacred. Or how do you deal with somebody who goes and appropriates some traditional knowledge from the Pacific, some of the Pacific Islands and then they go and use it in the United Kingdom? So you find that there's a lot of this use which is going beyond the borders and there's need to have um, like international standards, basically the minimum acceptable standards as to how you'd be able to deal with the protection of these works. In July 2013, the Intergovernmental Committee will convene in Geneva to discuss the way forward. The meeting will be attended by member states, the World Trade Organization, UNESCO, and many non-governmental organizations represented by indigenous people who will have an opportunity to influence the outcome. And in the specific case of the Arts Law Center of Australia, uh, it has been a regular and very constructive and engaged participant in our discussions at the IGC. After the July meeting, the Intergovernmental Committee hopes to have text developed to the point where a diplomatic conference can be convened to consider an international instrument that would provide better protection for traditional knowledge and culture. <laughs>